Welcome then to the Manor Ground here at Headington Oxford for this afternoon's uh, Barclays Division 2 match between Oxford United and Oldham Athletic. A very important game for both teams. Oldham of course second in the table. Hot favourites I think for direct promotion to the first division. And Oxford United clearly still needing points to uh, guarantee uh, second division football here at the Manor next So lazy then. Ball to hand. Foyle beats Barrett in the air to that. Little Les Phillips. Lewis playing that ball forward beautifully to McGilton. He scores! Oh, that was a beautiful goal. Oh, yes, indeed. It beat the offside trap retreat there. That really was a very, very good goal. Made by Mickey Lewis, who played the ball through, through this rather square Holden defence, caught them in the offside trap, and it was midfielder Magilton running through, timed his run to perfection. Back to Magilton, Magilton gets set in, but that's nodded out by Jobson. Lewis winning it in the air, Kane, and it's Les Phillips now playing it forward for, for uh, Magilton. He does his second goal! Oh, uh, Magilton's done it again, he beat the offside trap yet again. Magilton playing forward there and puts Oxford two up. 24 minutes to play, Jim Magilton. Well, 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 it, it looked a bit dodgy from here, but I looked from, immediately at the linesman. He had no hesitation in saying that Magilton was offside. Play went on, and Magilton made no, no mistake. Logan attempted shot there, but that's way over the top. And, The ball is lodged on top of the London Road stand. Oh my goodness me, then. <laughs> Don't know how they'll ever get that one down again, I'm sure. They have to have a very tall ladder. The ball now with Ken Vasey. We've had some 30 seconds time added on. Difficult to know how much the referee will add on in situations like this. Certainly has been two stoppages. Foster banging it forward again. Oxford on the chase. The follow up by Les Phillips plays it to Simpson. Simpson with the cross, but that's behind. Uh, Didn't manage to find anybody headed out, but he's back with Nogan. Nogan makes a nice break into the middle there. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, what a clever play by Lee Nogan! who took on the defender, beat him all ends up, squared the ball, and there was Martin Foyle. Well, really this is a superb display by Oxford by any standards. Simpson. Simpson jinxed it away then. 
trying to make space for a cross. He gets inside with his right. Rest chested down by um, and Ward outside the area. Yes, but it's picked up in the corner, the lane of play there. It was handled by Oldham. So it's a free kick to Oxford. Just outside the area. Referee right on the spot, no hesitation whatsoever. Now the thing is, who's going to take it? We've got two free kick specialists now, Paul Simpson and Jim Bajilton. So who's going to take it? Jim Bajilton takes it. It was a good curling effort over the wall, but Paul was better. Than the, the, this Oxford defence has really been put to the test this afternoon. They have been criticised throughout the season for the number of goals, the silly goals they put away, but no, no charges could be levelled against them this afternoon. They played magnificently throughout. And a goal. Having said that, the one, one time they didn't block it, and uh, the cross came in, and... Uh, Substitute Neil Adams, who's pulled one back for uh, uh, Oldham. Well, I'll take that fairly over the end of the hammer. The rest of us are. 72 minutes and Adams has a good goal. Basically got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. And so Oldham have pulled one back. And I suppose that's a reward for all the pressure they've exerted since the start of this half. Running onto the ball and banging into the net to make 